Good morning everyone. Oh my goodness. I just got back from the gym. Today's workout was like a mission. I don't know. I was just really tired. It's already 1030. Um, we went to the gym. Well, I went to the gym for an hour. Hamish is still there. I've got to do so much editing today. I've got to edit like four or five videos. Um, I'm happy though because like I'm back from my trips now and I'm like, you know, I'm kind of able to catch up and get ahead again if that makes sense. You know, like start pre-filming and stuff. My brows are starting to look um, so much better today. I noticed like that the scabbing's kind of starting to subside so soon they'll start probably fading a little bit and everything. I am absolutely stuffed. I'm gonna make a smoothie for breakfast and then get stuck into my work. I've got a package I'll show you later. Oh my gosh, so sweaty. I need to get my nails redone as well. Got so much to do. Probably won't do that today though. I was gonna tell you guys something and now I can't remember. I'll tell you later when I remember. This arrived from Estee Lauder. We have a mascara. Defining lift and fan mascara. An eyeliner, double wear eyeliner. And I'm guessing this is like a brow kit. I don't know why they sent me dark brunette, but thank you Estee Lauder. Anyway, I'll definitely try these two out, but um, this is very obviously not gonna suit me. Why does this taste weird? I think it's because I'm not used to the I'm not good my smoothies anymore. I've been I've been using water for like the last few times. It's really weird tasting. Well not weird tasting, just different. Maybe it's the new protein. I remembered what I was gonna say. I'm gonna edit today's video because I haven't got it ready yet. Like it's filmed and everything. I'm just editing it and then I've got to upload it. I'm just having my smoothie while I work and I made a cup of tea. Um anyway, the reason I didn't get to the gym earlier this morning was well I woke up not early early I woke up at 8 a.m. and then messed around well not messed around I woke up and was like doing my emails and everything I had some urgent emails I needed to do so I was doing them then me and Hamish were on the way to the gym and there was a dog like just walking across like the super busy intersection and like everyone was obviously like on a rush to work or whatever they were doing so no one was stopping me and Hamish were like whose dog is that so we just god Zeus is at home Posties here. Look at my hair. I just chucked it up like this for the gym. <laughs> so me and Hamish just like pulled over and watched it. And it was like running in front of these cars. And we were like, okay, I don't think this is anyone's dog. So I got out and, I was, and it came like over onto the footpath. And I asked these other girls. I was like, oh, is this your dog? And they were like, no. And so I walked up to the dog. Tried because it had a tag on it. Like it was registered and everything. Um, so I was going to call up the number so that they could call the owner and then the owner could come get it kind of thing But he was super skittery and scared and then he ran into the road and almost got hit by a massive truck And I literally like turned around and was like I, my heart completely stopped I was like covering my eyes I was like about to start crying because like the tracks can't just stop you know It's a truck it can't just jam on the brakes and stop so it slowed down but the dog was heading straight towards it um then the dog kind of went backwards like i didn't really see that part but when i turned around the dog had like come back over and another car almost hit it and then the dog like shot across the street and me and hamish followed it and eventually we found we were like where did he go and he was like sitting in the back of a ute and we're like oh and so we like called out and then the owner came out and she was like oh i was wondering where he went i was like oh my gosh your dog almost got hit by a truck i was like panicking and she was like oh my gosh thank you so much like for making sure he was okay and everything and then we went to the gym and then i was just like dying i don't know why i was just so exhausted anyway that was my little exciting story of the morning and yeah i was like oh he didn't want to come to me and she was like yeah he's quite nervous around like strangers so hopefully he doesn't wander off like that again hopefully you know because that honestly like I could not deal with it if he got hit by a car or something i would like have a meltdown <sighs> anyway so yeah i'm editing an empties video at the moment and then i'm gonna go have a shower and then i'm gonna empty and then i'm gonna empty and then i'm gonna edit like four more videos or five more videos <sighs> today's gonna be a long day and then i'm hoping tonight i can go for a bike ride or a walk or something with hamish again because i feel like my workout this morning was average like i still went for about 55 minutes but it was just like 
I don't know. I did lots of steps. My heart rate was good, but you know when you just feel like your workout was average? I don't know. Like, according to my fit, but it was good. But I don't know. I know I can do better, so I just want to get out again later on. And after editing all day, I'm going to want to, like, get some fresh air anyway. Hopefully soon all my vlogs are, like, rolling again. I've seen, like, some people complaining and stuff, and I'm sorry. I know it's, like, a letdown. I am doing my best. You have to trust me. And I'm also... As I said, like my New Year's resolution is to take some time for me. So I've been enjoying just having a couple days off here and there. Like at home on the weekends and stuff as well. So I'm just still trying to find that balance. But obviously half of the reason why I wasn't uploading as much is because I was like traveling so often. Even uploading in Australia, like it took like six hours for one video to upload. It was so slow. So it was just like exhausting. But yeah, hopefully I'll start to get on top of things a little bit better now. And if you're ever wondering, like I usually, not every single time, but I usually update on Twitter as well. Then you guys know if there's going to be like a video or not. Um, just in case you guys were keen to like you know, have updates, I guess. Anyway, I need to start working before I run out of time. It's about 2.30 now and today's video went up. Yay! And um, I did a vlog that also went up. Yay! And I edited two other videos. Yay! So I'm editing hopefully another two. And then later this afternoon, I'm going to go do some kind of exercise, whether it's like a walk or a bike ride or something. And yeah, I'm just having some snacks, boiled egg and some banana. I'm not like super hungry. I've been drinking tons of water and it's like filled me up which is weird so I'm just having some snacks for lunch because otherwise in like an hour I'll just start burning out and then I'll be like starving all of a sudden and then for dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna make. It's like that awkward time in the afternoon where it's like it's just an awkward time to eat. This stuff is so good. Have you ever tried it? It's the feta and baby spinach like dip stuff. It's so good with like rice crackers and things. I don't know why I'm not hungry. I think it's the heat. You know when it's like real hot and you just don't want to eat? I'm just like babbling and procrastinating because I'm going to go edit again. I'll talk to you guys a bit later. It's 6 o'clock and I'm done. One of the tutorials I edited was like a chit chat get rid of me. The footage, like the end product video that is going up is like almost half an hour long. So sorry. <laughs> it took so long to edit. But I feel so accomplished now. It's such a nice day outside. Apparently it's like boiling hot out there so I don't know if I want to go outside now or wait till a little bit later and like wait till it cools off a little bit if you know what I mean. It is a scorcher. This is my dinner. Yum. I bought this from Ikea so I need to make it up later. It's like a trolley thing. I'm gonna put my makeup brushes and stuff on it. Didn't it go for a walk? Ooh. What? <laughs> Didn't it go for a walk? Didn't it go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? Should we go for a walk, sis? I think someone's excited. Oh my god, leave them alone! Hey. Come on! Where's your collar? Where is it? Is this your collar? Take it to dad. Take it to dad. He's like, no! He's so small. Yeah, and she looked at her at Temple with brushes, buddy. No, it's that third one. Yeah. Good boy. Do you want one too? Shall we make some IKEA? Yes. Let's do it. Do you want to help me? Why? Help me. That's the only thing boyfriends are useful for, Hamish. Hey, I do everything else for you. Nah, don't lie. You're lying now. No, never. No. Louie! Oh, he's got his toy. Everything matches. What's that? What's that? He's just. Is it Zeus? Zeus! Come on! Yay! Family. We went for a massive walk. Oh, wait, I haven't stopped my timer. You angry? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I built lots of it myself, but my nails are too long for me to do these ones. Like I the screws. Like I did so. You know I did. What? Are you just like you're doing it right now? No, I'm just not doing these bits. There you go. Someone's tired from his walk. Oh, you tired? Hey. Success. 
I feel like that middle tray is crooked though. Which is gonna annoy the shit out of me. The side's lower than that side. I might have to straighten it one day, but at the moment it'll do. So I'm gonna put some like makeup brushes and stuff in there and then I'm gonna clean up this little area here and then just slide it in there. Like when I'm not using it and then when I'm filming, I can slide it over and I have all my brushes there. I might put like tissues and cotton swabs and just bits and pieces like that for filming and doing my makeup. Maybe some of my most used palettes and things too. Me and Hamish want to get one of these. They're so expensive though. It's, it's a DJI Phantom 3 and it's like a, um, it's a drone that you can record footage with. I think we might have to wait until they're like kind of old. Because <laughs> I don't want to pay that much. Phantom 3 is a remote controlled quadcopter with a camera mounted to it. It's so cool. Such an innovative device in the world. Our key goal was to remove any and all challenges that someone might face when flying for the very first time. The innovations that we have applied to the Phantom 3 make this all possible. So now every vacation, well, those camping trip. So cool. I wonder if it does that thing where it follows you. You know how there's that thing that you, you can set up the GPS and you like. Yeah. Or down and I wonder if you could be real and sneaky and, and you could like go on a roller coaster and then put it above the roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. You probably wouldn't be allowed them. When viewing the Phantom, rather than focus on the fundamental, we chose to start. How stable is the footage as well? Yeah. So if it's all jaggedy and gets blown around, it'll look dumb. Accuracy with the simple press of a thumbstick. Four engines which independently and dynamically control each of the Phantom's four props are meticulously crafted to the most granular.